The murder of Josue Flores sent shockwaves through our community back in 2016. The 11-year-old boy was stabbed to death while walking home from school. And now we are learning that a law aimed at providing funding for schools to help children get to and from campus has not been used since it was enacted. Our Brandon Walker live tonight in North Houston with much more. Brandon? Yeah, Daniela, right here, Josue Flores stabbed to death at the corner of Fulton and James while he was walking home from school. Tonight, the TEA confirms that no school district statewide has applied for that funding, telling us that boards of trustees first have to identify problem spots, places where there is violence in the area, and then from there, they apply for approval for the education commissioner. Why that hasn't happened, we found out, depends on the school district. We want to keep our students safe. Stella Mietes Walters keeps record of the recognition. Every day, residents who live in the community. Pictures of the people who, like her, pushed for change. She was calling for help. He was Josue Flores, 11 years old, killed while walking home from school back in May of 2016. Josue wasn't far from home when investigators say Andre Jackson stabbed him. Busy Fulton Street. No one noticed that suspicious activity. That's why Walters founded Safe Walk Home, the community coming together to say no more. Their efforts leading to state lawmakers passing legislation in 2017. Senate Bill 195 provides money to school districts for students who live within a two-mile radius of campus and don't qualify to ride a school bus. The legislation allows for them to be taken home by bus if students, quote, would be subject to hazardous traffic conditions or a high risk of of violence if they walked to school, the law details. Walter suspects little is known about the money. It hasn't been introduced to them. They do not know anything about us. Uh, uh, Senate Bill 195. HISD says it's working to provide necessary data for approval for next school year, but didn't explain why it hasn't done so since the law went into effect in 2018. Fort Bend ISD, meantime, says it hasn't identified any students who qualify. And a live look here at the memorial that grows and has been here since Josue was killed back in 2016. We're also hearing from KDISD and a similar response from them. So what about a solution here? So we've been on the phone all night. We were able to speak to Elizabeth Santos, the trustee who represents District 1. She says with the new superintendent, also with the Board of Trustees, they do hope to get community meetings going so that they can identify the problems and go through the necessary things they need to do to hopefully get that money. So with that, Stay tuned. We're live on the near north side. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC 2 News.